Hi, and welcome to the first episode of Tech Tuesday. As the name suggests, these episodes will be uploaded every Tuesday and we'll be doing it every week. Each episode will deal with one specific subject that we see reoccurring on our tech forum, our social media, and on our tech support phone lines. We do want to keep these episodes short and sweet, so if you find that some of the topics require a more in-depth explanation, let us know and we'll try and expand on those in a full-length technically speaking video or something like that. Alright, so let's get started. Our first topic will be engine blowouts and how to avoid them. We often get asked, how can I safely learn to tune my engine or what should I look for to make sure that I don't turn my engine into a giant paperweight? Well, there's a lot of stuff to keep an eye on, but here are some key areas to look out for. One, verify the engine's mechanical timing is correct by checking the timing marks on the timing belt or the timing chain. If the engine's mechanical timing is incorrect, tuning will be impossible and potentially damage the engine if the pistons and the valves meet. Two, verify the ignition timing using a stroboscopic or timing light. Make sure the ECU and the timing light report the same ignition values and are synchronized. This way, you know that the ignition timing values you put into your ECU are the same as what's gonna be happening at the engine. Three, don't run the engine lean under load. This will create excess cylinder temperatures and melt engine internals. Four, don't run the engine rich under idle and cruise conditions. This will contaminate the oil resulting in poor lubrication and can glaze the cylinder bores resulting in bad piston ring sealing. Five, don't run too much ignition timing. This will result in detonation or pinging. Sounds like rattling teeth in a can. Pinging will damage piston tops, smash ring lands off pistons, create big end bearing problems and create high cylinder pressures which could blow head gaskets. Six, don't run too little timing. This can also cause unnecessary heat which will also damage engine components. Seven, always keep an eye on coolant temperature, oil pressure, fuel pressure and your wideband oxygen sensor as the bare minimums. Look for changes in any of these sensor values when you're tuning and don't ignore them. Make sure to get to the bottom of any unexplainable changes before continuing on with the tune. There's plenty more to keep an eye on and depending on the engine configuration and operating conditions you're expecting, you may want to focus more heavily on one particular area of the tune. This is where experience comes into the scenario. Something that you want your tuner to have a hell of a lot of before they get their hands on your pride and joy. Well, that's today's Tech Tuesday. See you next week.